today, I will talk to you, especially focusing on the mechanism of neutron donation. Uh, so many core fusion studies have continued for more than 23 years. I think the information of the neutron is more important in, other, uh, in order to find out the mechanism than other, such as heat and energy generation. However, uh, there are not so many reports according to the Newton. <coughs> I can say that the Newton evolution is clearly came from the nuclear reaction. I think that the other reaction products, such as the heat and element generating from the transmutation reaction, can be said that the information quality is not so worse compared to the Newton. I have said the method of Newton generation. Uh, until now, I announced three, uh, 23 years before the first method, which is simple electrolysis with heavy water of the palladium. The next was 10 years before the method of deuterium gas absorption into a palladium rod at low temperature under an intense magnetic field. And the other method was the deuterium gas was absorbed into the palladium rod and then hollow hydrogen gas was injected into the lot. After that, the neutron emission was observed during not long duration. After I obtained many experimental results, I have understand, understood that the neutron was required for the occurrence of the neutron emission. When you use the hydrogen gas for the uh, cold fusion experiment, you may have a slight neutron if you are lucky. In the test, by the hydrogen, there are no way for the observation of neutron. It is so difficult. Deuterium is needed to generate the neutron. That means the reaction was occurred by day day fusion. Neutron generation was also caused by the deuterium in other report. The technique how to generate the neutron has been many reported. <coughs> it was found that there is a common factors, but there was a variety of ways generate the neutron, and it can be understood by analyze in detail. I have studied how to generate neutron easily. In this presentation, I am going to talk about the mechanism behind the reaction of these CA and amount. In order to st uh, stably control the generation of excess heat energy and the other reactant, I want to talk about the introduction of new scientific methodology. I'm going to show you along this flow. The, the first, I will talk a story using deuterium gas and the experimental procedure. Second, I want to talk some new results. These were achieved by bearing the part of the experimental conditions. Third, so I want to talk about the new results that have showed neutron generation. I think before I have time, I want to talk a theoretical explanation. Uh, this table shows the method using the series of CF experiments. It shows a summary of the paper that has published. It shows the CF reaction material, media, trigger, and products. These generated products were neutron, tritium, and heat. Uh, most frequently used material, metal is palladium. Many of the researchers use the heavy water. In many reports, excess heat and energy has been detected in both light and heavy water. Uh, there are many reports on the neutron emission. I think that the neutron is considered to be a, a mo most important evidence showing that a cause of long nuclear reaction. Almost of them do not indicate the correspondence between the theoretical con coincidence of the relationship between the number of neutrons and the quality quantity of the heat. It is difficult to describe in the conventional theory. In any case, the energy of neutrons was near 2.45 million electron volt. This is the value of the energy caused by the reaction. In the past, the generation of the neutron has been 
described based on the theory of the normal thermonuclear fusion. In this case, the reaction was considered as DB fusion. And the case, the Newton energy is 2.45 million newton volt. And this picture shows the palladium electrode before uh, left hand side and after the electrolysis. Uh, electrolysis was performed for more than several days or weeks. Typically, current density was 20 milliampere per square centimeter. Here, I want to focus on the metal surface after the electrolysis. We can find many metal particles that are less than 100 nanometer. These sizes are something less than 10 nanometers. Um, this photo is an uh, examination of the electrode before and after the test of platinum electrode. Platinum has electrolytes for several days, 20 milliampere, same uh, current density. You can see the row size of uh, 100 nanometer or metal particle on the surface is a uh, platinum metal. <coughs> this is a uh, gold electrode. You can see also metal particle of the size uh, 100 nanometer or less. Here, <coughs> I will show you how to generate a neutron radiation. In this experiment, we used iron sodium oxide as a reaction medium. Reactant is at high temperature steam vapor. Uh, vapor is decomposed at the surface of the oxide into hydrogen and oxygen molecules. We have observed the occurrence of weak neutron emission during the test. This shows a conception drawing of the experimental condition. High temperature vapor go on the reactive metal, sur metal surface. Vapor is decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen gas. At the time, radiation can be observed. <coughs> this shows a schematic drawing of experimental setup. Reactor is the center bottom of this figure. You can see it's a measurement system and control system on the left hand side, and the gas supplying system is right hand. The reactor is drawn bottom of the figure. And this photo is shown experiment setup. Uh, the reactor uh, is seen in the center of the photo, and the reactor is covered with uh, a metal and glass fiber insulator. You can see controlling and the gas supplying system. <coughs> this drawing shows the cross section of the reactor. The reactor is divided into three parts. Containers, uh, cathode material, and anode electrode. Cathode electrode is composed by small particle of alkali metal oxide. And this is an outer and cross-section view of the typical reactor. The reactor has inner and outer pipes, and it has gas inlet and outlet. And this graph shows a typical re uh, result of hydrogen generation. You can see the time change of vapor pressure and rate of hydrogen generation and temperature. Uh, this scale is uh, pressure. Uh, pressure go up something like uh, 0.6 atmosphere and uh, immediately the hydrogen gas release. And the rate of the hydrogen gas emission is something like uh, 6 or 8 meter per minute. During the experiment, the temperature go up some, like that. It takes three hours more. This graph shows the behavior of Newton generation. Newton generation drawn up by red bottom line, red dotted line, this line. Uh, this is a Newton scale. A Newton generation, uh, it shows the same change with the rate of hydrogen generation. Uh, hydrogen generation and the Newton evolution uh, seems a very, very uh, similar coincidence with, with targets. Uh, this graph shows another result of hydrogen generation. You can see the time change of vapor, pressure, and rate of hydrogen generation and the temperature change. 
the same before. This shows the behavior of neutron generation. Neutron generation also indicated by the dotted line. It shows the same change with the rate of hydrogen generation. This is a background level and a little bit increasing. And this uh, neutron generation rate is almost coincident with this uh, uh, hydrogen generation. <coughs> it shows the temperature change measured at various positions on the reactor chamber. All positions at the reactor temperature rose up several 10 degrees with the test duration. Here, we can estimate the excess heat generation as 40 watt when the temperature rises up of 130 degrees centigrade. And this shows another example for neutron and hydrogen generation. A neutron generation, this is dotted line, neutron generation uh, indicated by uh, dotted line is changing with the rate of hydrogen generation. Neutron generation shows a high value as a beginning, only at the high, the beginning. And then it decreased with the time and hole into the background level. This shows the mass spectrum of the generator gas. Oh, this is my mistakes. 66% uh, uh, is hydrogen and other 35% is oxygen. Uh, completely the water was decomposed. We confirm weak neutron emission by the reaction of water decomposition on a reactive material. The reaction rate related with the amount of the water decomposition. If we can assume that the reaction was occurred by two deuterium atoms, the reaction probability can be estimated as from 10 to the minus 16th to 10 to the minus 10th per daily pairs per second. I show another method to generate neutron. We have used we have used the material particle, metal particle as reactive materials. In this experiment, nickel nickel was used. <laughs> Reactant was the deuterium gas. React reaction gas was injected into the reactive metal surface. Then we have confirmed the occurrence of a strong neutron emission. This slide shows conception or experiment condition. H2 or Z2 gas injected into the reactive material surface. And this gas was absorbed and released. After that, we have observed that neutron emission. This drawing shows the experimental setup. Reactor is a lower light, light corner of this graph. There are vacuum pumping system and gas supplying system. And the radiation metal system is there. This, uh, this shows the cross-section view of the reactor. Reactor was divided into three parts, continents, Cathode and anode. These electrodes were used for the activation process of the material. Cathode electrode is composed by nickel metal particle. These photos show the reactor, reactor window, and the electrode uh, during the activation process by plasma discharge. Upper graph shows the time change of reactor temperature and gas pressure. This is a gas pressure. This is a, uh, uh, this is a gas pressure. This uh, actually is the temperature. You can see that the temperature was almost stable, but gas pressure was changing, although it had been kept constant. 
you can see the bottom graph. This uh, very strong Newton generation and gamma emission was okay. This is a gamma emission, and this is a Newton. I put the, uh, this, uh, uh, post, this is a 10 millisievert per hour. This shows a test of palladium particle. That was supplied with diesel gas, the same condition. Temperature was shown at the at a glance stable because it was measured on the surface of the reactor. In this case, the me measuring response was so slow. The gas pressure was changed by absorption with the palladium, although it, was, it has been kept at a constant pressure. We can see very strong neutron generation and gamma emission here. This shows the case of palladium particle that has been supplied day two gas. Temperature was measured at the surface of the palladium electrode. Here. Uh, it shows rapid temperature rise by the absorption of the It reached 1950 degrees centigrade. At this case, the temperature was directly measured on the test material surface by a pyrometer. Then the measurement response was very fast. This is even if the gas pressure had been kept at a constant, the change was so large because palladium particles have absorbed and released the deuterium gas according with the Newton. Here you can see the intense generation of neutron and gamma radiation. This shows a case of palladium particle that was supplied normal hydrogen. The gas pressure was stable and the temperature was also no changes in the upper graph. Here we can see no neutron generation and gamma emission observed in bottom graph. These factors state at the background level. We can understand that no reaction occurred if you use the light hydrogen. When hydrogen gas was absorbed into the reactive substance, we can confirm the intense neutron radiation. The neutron emission rate was released with the amount of the gas absorption. If we assume that the reaction have been induced with the reaction of the two deuterium atoms, we can estimate that the reaction probability is 10 to the minus 10 per daily pair per second. So, next is my uh, speculation of the theoretical aspect. Uh, time. Enough time? Okay, five minutes. Okay. We assume in order to consider the mechanism to generate the neutron radiation, the action takes place inside the reactive particle of material with hydrogen atoms. Dynamic interaction of electron and hydrogen atom in the particle are quite different from the bulk. We use the method to approximate the LCMO or the orbital calculation of electron and hydrogen atom. Mass of electron in the metal particle was found to exhibit a large value by the calculation. These slides show the methods that were used in the theoretical analysis. We focus on the behavior of the electron in the metal particle. Several reports have pointed out that the dynamic behavior of the electron is very different in the metal particles from the behavior in normal bulk. Electron is confined to a nanoband, especially in the nanoparticles. This means that the electron conduction band is very limited. Such electron will be affected by the other potential atom and electron metal particles. For the band calculation of the electron in the nanoparticle, we use the approximation method of the LCMO in the case of irregular atom arrangement. Hydrogen concentration of palladium was used as 0.76 
titanium was used at a value of 1.67. We used the hydrogen concentration as a value of unity in nickel, platinum, and gold. And this is a perovskite structure for the alkali metal oxides. In recent years, I found that the behavior of conduction electron is different from the normal metal in the case of experimental methods. Experimental. We still do not have calculated the internal behavior of electron and this structure. And this shows the electron mass of E hydride showed a large value in the hydride of palladium and titanium. The value is increased with the decreasing of the metal particle size. The effect is small for the platinum and gold metal particle. Then, when the atomic nucleus of hydrogen exists in the nanoparticle, the atom has the possibility that an atomic diameter in the appearance becomes small to take the E hydride as the electron orbit of the nucleus. As a result, E hydride reduces the nucleus coulomb barrier of hydrogen as shown in here. As a result, the nuclear fusion reaction are easily occurred by a tunnel effect. Left glass shows a neutron generation by daily reaction in the hydride. Right graph shows a daily cross section represented by gamma relationship. We can estimate the relation and probability of our test. This figure shows the nuclear reaction probability for the hydrogen as a function of the temperature. The probability is increasing above 10 to the minus uh, 10 to the ninth Kelvin. The reaction probability reaches one unity at uh, reaches 10 to the 10th Kelvin. The calculation of the tunneling probability for the change of the Coulomb potential for the proton is shown in this figure. As for reaction probability by the tunnel effect, if the barrier potential decreases by only 50%, the probability increases by 10 digits. I had the talk of the occurrence of the neutron. Confirmation of the neutron is one of the most important works in the CF research as saying many times. I, for many years, have been experimenting of this confusion. The center of the experiment was set in particular confirmation of the occurrence of the neutron. I tried many varieties of the experimental method in this study. In most of cases, I have not obtained the expected result. However, in recent years, I have reviewed the experimental of the past, and then I have found some new results. It was the fine particle that have generated on the various metal samples after the experiment, and recently the result of experiment using the fine particle of nickel have been more attention. But the report of heat, even if it has particular large, it is no variable information. We have to confirm the clear product by the reaction. This time, we were able to generate a neutron using metal particle and hydrogen gas. Theoretical research researchers have also published on heavy fermion, fermion series. Although this is electron is theoretical, if you use a wave function as a dynamic of time encoding in so far, so that behavior is recent, really heavy, we can describe very well the experimental result by using this series. This theory and the nanoparticle can be expected to become a powerful weapon of the Newton CF phenomenon. My presentation is almost over. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, let's go one by one. Thank you. I consider this to be an extremely important paper. This is the second time this morning that, that the probability of uh, growth of new elements within the Earth's structure is available by means that are, are natural. Uh, the question I have is that, do you think this process also could account for the sonofusion neutron and uh, 
we have our results. Yeah, exactly. So I especially focused on nuclear gas because I wanted to measure the neutron. But I also uh, make sure the transportation, transmutation material using a light water and also very uh, alpha and heavy water, both of them. Thank you. Please. Uh, just a second. I think the helium-3 detector is the only one. It's very loose sensitive. So you have to check uh, by using uh, more than two systems. Was checking if this is a real neutron or not. And uh, also, the, you say this is neutron at 2.25 and yeah. neutron from the field reaction, but yes. you have no proof of that. It might be something else if it are neutron. Even. So you can say that kind of conclusion from the results. So be careful to say the conclusion. Thank you very much for your uh, suggestion. Okay, next. Yes. Uh, have you variation of concentration deuterium in uh, hydrogen? Uh, and what you seen about this concentration? Oh, I, I don't find this result. Yes, you don't uh, do. Yeah. You do. And why you you, you didn't think that it is uh, dependence of optimum? Uh, explain, uh, excuse me, uh, dependence of what? Maybe uh, there are some experiments when uh, Ramadanov, such as uh, which uh, uh, indicates that uh, uh, there is uh, optimum concentration of deuterium in hydrogen when the uh, result is best. You didn't do No, I didn't. Yes. Okay, more questions? Uh, let me have one. Uh, among the your uh, detections, actually spectroscopy will be much better. For example, gammas, if you use the high pressure germanium detector, even worse one, if it's not available, so the my detector will tell you that energy spectrum, which you, you can uh, make some yeah. more, uh, better measurement. For a neutrons, you use a helium-3, but that's for a dodge metal. So if you use, uh, use the same, a plus scintillator, for example, detection the efficiency is much higher, and uh, using the, this end point, you could uh, roughly know the, this uh, uh, neutron spectrum if there is. Yes, I agree. Thanks. Yes, fine. Uh, from your graphs, I was not sure whether you are measuring the neutrons in the form of pulses or in the form of a current. Oh, but uh, what is a current? No, if you are using a neutron chamber, an ionization chamber, and measuring the current. I wasn't sure from the plot. But if it is in the form of pulses, and since there has been suggestions that it could be due to electromagnetic pickup and so on, my suggestion is, uh, from our experience, a very simple way to find out if these are neutrons is to carry out a probability distribution. Yeah, if you have a Poisson distribution for the neutron pulses, then chances are it's a new real nuclear process. But if it is erratic, the neutron, then these are pickups due to, as you said, okay. using BF3 counters, helium-3 counters, that problem is always there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, more questions? If not, let's uh, thanks the speaker again. Okay.